My name is Mike Peverell. I'm here at Pev's Paintball Park in Aldi, Virginia. I've been playing paintball for nearly 30 years. I've played professional paintball with numerous pro teams all over the world. This facility here was built from the ground up for paintball, kind of like Paintball Disneyland. Our website is www.pevs.com. Hopefully you can come out and visit us sometime. Rec ball guns and speedball guns are, are, are notably different a lot of times by just by the, by the color. I mean, speedball guns, typically you're going to see uh, fancy colors such as this um, and the, some of the guns behind me that are red. Or then you're going to see rec ball guns, which are more like this, which is black, uh, hard to see, looks more like a real gun, um, kind of similar like this. When you look at a gun like this, you know, this is what we consider more rec ball related or scenario related. So I'm going to go over the differences between the two, the several ones. Um, uh, the basic rec ball gun is the same thing with the rental gun, like a Tippin Model 98, for example. It's basic, it's simple, durable, but it's it's kind of got that look to it that you're, you're kind of playing like war, in military like, you know. It's, but at the same time, it's rugged um, and it's not going to break down on you. This is a speedball gun, high end Eclipse Geo. It's a it's a high end gun, very flashy, uh, electronic triggers. Um, uh, electronic panel, a uh, control panel that, that tells what it's going to do. Um, it, it's fast. It's it's a it's a high end race car. Like if you're going to go 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 win the NASCAR event, okay. As opposed to something like this. This is like just a regular car without all the bells and whistles. But this is durable. This is durable too. But this one is typically going to have more problems with it because when you push a gun, a paintball gun, to its limit, you're basically gonna have a problem where it's going to be finicky a little bit. It's going to have things that are going to go wrong with it. But but a gun like this, you're going to play in a speedball tournament or a national championships anywhere. You want a gun like this, super fast. The electronic trigger allows it to shoot, you know, anywhere up from 15 balls a second on up, as opposed to a gun like this where you're shooting, you know, less than 10 balls a second. It's a little slower, it's clunkier, but at the same time, it's durable. Um, when I play for fun out here at the park, um, I'll use this because it's durable, but at the same time, reliable. It makes it happen. Now, if I go play scenario, a lot of times you get out there with scenario version of rec ball, where guys are gonna have a gun like this, where it has all these aftermarket effects on it to make it look kind of ominous, kind of look like it's a, you're playing war, you're playing Rambo, um, and that, you know. And as you see, it all depends what your taste. If your playing style is rec ball, then you're gonna determine: Do I want rec ball, regular rec ball, or do I want rec ball scenario paintball, where I want it to look more realistic? And, and then if I'm gonna play speedball, when I play in a national tournament, I still use a gun like this because I, I rely on its dependability and rate of fire. I need this gun to shoot like darts, ball after ball, as fast as I possibly can.